Now that you have seen the beautiful project, let me show you what material we need. We need two pieces of wooden MDF. These are 10 cm by 10 cm square and they are 3 mm thick. The second thing we need are acrylic colors. I have used a light blue color and a Persian blue color. The numbers are 335 and 351. The third we need is any varnish. So here I have used my little birdie decor gloss varnish. We need mirrors. So I have used three shapes. One is a square. One is a leaf pattern. Uh, sorry, a petal pattern or a leaf pattern. And third are small uh, circles. Then we need any twine. Uh, to help us in doing the hanging. We need few blue color pom poms and few uh, white beads. So let us get started. Now that you've seen the beautiful lip print hanging project and the material required, I've taken my MDF board and I've done a coat of gesso on one side and black acrylic color on the back side. Let me show you the two. So these are my two pieces. On this I have done gesso on the top and I have done black acrylic color on the back side. Now what we are going to do is take your pencil and your scale and just mark the midpoints. This is approximately 10 cm. So just mark your midpoints. Like this. This way. Now what I will be doing is we are using two colors here. So here I am using my permanent light blue and I am using my Persian blue. So let us take out. You can use any color combination of your choice. So Gesso provides a little base to your MDF base and it helps in doing our colors faster and quick. We may not even require to coat in case of darker color. In case of lighter color, once it is dried, I'll have a look whether we need one more. And in this, I'm going to do the outer part. Now, if you want, you can do your edges also. I'll do my edges in the color of the outer color. Now we will wait for the light blue to dark, uh, dry up, then we will do our darker blue. Now the second ones, this has completely dried up. I have taken out my second color which is a Persian blue. Now here we are going to do Persian blue on the outside. I'm also going to do the edges Persian blue and I'm going to let this dry completely. Now we are learning how to make the material for the cone. First we are going to be using MR Favicol and chalk powder. So take approximately two spoons of Favicol. After that to this I'm going to add half spoon of water. Okay, Just add half spoon of water. In this, we are going to add approximately 3 spoons of chalk powder. So this is French chalk powder that I am using here. Now mix it very well. First mix it well. Only if you need, you can add more water to it. An alternative to chalk powder or French chalk powder is your normal chalk powder. Or you can use marble powder or you can use wall putty. Any of these are fine to make the cone. You can also use ceramic powder if you have. So here we will need few more drops of water. So it should be this thick consistency. A drop more of Fevicol is what we need here. I am not adding water because I don't want to make it too watery. So that's it. See, my cone material is absolutely ready. Now you can fill it up in a plastic cone or you can fill it up in a cone made from any milk pouch. 
Okay, so just fill up the material in your cone. Let me fill it up in the cone and simply now just keep in mind that don't overfill your cone. Maximum I'm going to fill my cone this much and I'm going to use a rubber band to secure. So our cone is ready. So now our cone is ready. Our base is ready. Now let's get started. Now you can make this lining as thick as that and as thin as you want. Just adjust the mouth of the cone. If you're a complete newcomer to coning, then I would recommend to please practice cone work a little bit. And if you're new to our channel, we have already done five super beautiful projects of lip pin. How to do lip pin on bottle, how to do it on a box, how to make a completely cut style white lip pin painting, how to make colorful coasters and how to make a lip pin style diary. I will mention all those links in the description box below so you can check them out as well. Now you can do any kind of cone work depending upon the kind of mirrors that are available with you because lip pin may we will be using different varieties of mirrors to further decorate our project Now I'm going to let this dry. The same cone work I'm going to do on the, this piece also and I'll show you. So now we have done the cone work of both of them. Now we've done cone work for both. Now before you stick your mirrors, do a coat of varnish. So here I'm using my little buddy decor varnish. This is glossy. So just pour a little bit and do a good coat of your varnish on top of this. Now if you would like to go in for purchase of itsy bitsy products you can use the code that i have mentioned in the uh, description box which is also appearing on your screen right now to get an extra five percent off do a very good coat of your varnish on both your pieces and let it dry and then we'll stick our mirrors on top so now that my varnish has dried up i have taken out my mirrors mirrors can be of the shapes that are available with you we are going to use a mix and match and combination of these I am taking my fabric cord and we will start. Now so see, our beautiful piece is done. You can add more mirrors if you would like. And let me stick mirrors on the other one also and show you. So now once your mirrors have dried up, I have taken a normal needle and a white thread. We've taken pom-poms of different sizes. Now here I've taken a blue pom-pom because blue is matching my uh, 
the colors that I've used. If you've used any other color, you can check a matching pom pom to that as well. I've taken my normal 5 mm beads. So just create a little hanging on the base. You can also use uh, any other color beads which are available with you. So in between the pom poms, I am just giving 10 pearls to add the contrasting white color. Now take a long thread. I will put this pom pom. I am going to stick the thread from behind it. And I will be attaching them diagonally like this. Okay. First let us keep the thread, keep the needle and the thread on. Attach it and then we will go up. So I'll turn it around, we can stick it using our fevicol. So just stick it. First we'll put fevicol. Put a good thick layer of fevicol and on top of it I'm going to attach it using my masking tape. So since the pom pom, pom pom has a height, I will put it here. I will let it dry and attach a masking tape. So now I've applied masking tape and now turn it around. Now we are going to further start putting. So we'll put one pom pom. Now we'll attach our next piece in the same way as we've attached the previous one. So I have attached my both the pieces like this. Now comes the last bit and you can make a hanging as long as you want. I'm going to keep same 10 beads, maximum 12 beads on the top side before we attach a loop or a ring. Now I have this ring. I'll just tie this ring onto this. So our beautiful lip print project for today is done.